Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from EGAT Tech. So I'm not sure if you guys are aware, I finally reached the 100 subscriber mark. Uh, I know it's not that high yet, but it is a milestone for me and I do appreciate all the support that I've gotten so far. It makes it worthwhile making these videos for you. And next target will be the 1000 subscriber mark. Uh, so I hope that you guys will keep supporting me as I do enjoy what I am doing. I do enjoy unboxing new mobile phones, new gadgets, and just want to keep making videos for you guys. So this is a real quick one uh, for you. Uh, if you see in front of me, we've got the ROG2, the Tencent version. So um, I've decided to post this video since... I've been getting a lot of questions and comments um, on my previous videos on whether uh, languages are support languages are supported uh, on the Chinese version. I actually came across a post on the XDA forum uh, with regards to converting the ROG2 from the Chinese version uh, over to the international or global version. So I gave it a try and this is what I wanted to show you guys. So I've uh, flashed that global ROM on my Chinese Tencent version and if you see uh, did a factory reset and this is actually the setup screen that I'm going to show you guys. So if, um, first off there are a lot of languages now that are included so English, Filipino, Francais, Indonesia. Basically this is the global version that's going to be coming out so the, the ROM has come out the guy on XDA got his hands on it and I just uh, followed the steps or the guide and I've got it up and running here. Let's do a quick uh, setup from scratch on this one. So let's put it as English. Then let's see. Let me focus that. Let's go. Alright. It does tell you that don't insert a Type-C cable into the lower colored port of the side mount port. So I think that's just used for the accessories that come with the phone. Alright, so as usual, you're again going to be setting up Wi-Fi. Let me just set up for this for you guys real quick. Alright, Wi-Fi connected. Going on. Know your privacy rights. Let's just put a next on that. Alright, copy apps and data. No, nope, let's not copy it for now. And I'm not going to be signing into the Google account for now. I read that some of the guys who did this had problems with the video recording. So the fix that was provided was that you just go through the setup until the end and then add your Google account later on. So let's skip this step for now. Yep, skip. Let's just agree. So you've all been through this um, sim similar to all the other phones that have come out. So let's not set this up for now so I can show you. All right. Uh, set up air triggers. No, let's not set that up. So if you can see here, you can register the Asus product. I'm not sure um, if um, we can register this Chinese version. So I'll give it a try and let you guys know. Alright, and you've got the Asus data transfer. This is basically the application that you use if you want to transfer data from an older phone to this Asus or the ROG2 phone. So you need to install the Asus data transfer app on that other phone as well. Alright, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. So this is the setup screen where you can choose what launcher to use. So I've gone through this once already and I, and I chose the ROG launcher. So let's pick the classic one for now and see what's the difference. Setup is complete. And there you go. This is basically the Zen UI instead of the R ROG uh, OS. So it looks more like stock Android than the ROG. So it doesn't have the custom icons that you have in the ROG launcher. So 
let's see if we can enable okay I think by default this comes at 60 Hertz I know I made a change on the other one there there's a refresh rate it's not on by default let's drag that in all right and let's set that refresh rate to 120 okay now it's a lot smoother okay so everything else remains the same uh, okay so I've got a camera works fine okay. and there's your selfie cam a wide angle and even though it's on the Zen uh, UI you've still got the game launcher over here so everything is now in English so you've got the ROG Club e store so by default Asphalt 9 is installed on this phone get the game profiles this for Asphalt 9 so if you go to the console this is the one that you this is similar to what you have uh, on the Chinese version you get system lighting that's enabled see if you can see it let's put it on game mode so let's see X mode okay there you go look at that. the lighting in the back and speed so everything's the same as the Chinese version except that you don't have any Chinese bloatware there's a lot less apps that are pre-installed on this global uh, ROM I'm not gonna say global version because this is still the Chinese Tencent version only running with the global ROM so I'll do a, a more in-depth uh, review of this global ROM and see what the difference is. Since I did spend a couple of weeks with the Chinese version, let's see if I'm going to have a different experience with this one. If you guys want to know how to install, if you've already bought the Tencent or you have any of the Chinese version, uh, the 128 or the 512, I'll provide the link um, on the description below. But if you guys want me to um, come up with a simple guide and, uh, and post it on YouTube, I can do that for you guys. So let me know in the comments below. And I think that's a quick one for now. I just wanted to share. I'm just excited to test this out since this is now no Chinese at all. So I'm, basically what you get is, is going to be exactly the same experience that you're going to be getting if you purchase the global version. Alright, so let's end this quick video here guys. As usual, like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all in the next one.